using your seven millimeter socket, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen and remove this bolt. Go ahead and set that bolt aside. On the front section, you wanna pull up on this plastic clip, pop that out, set that aside. Grab the lamp assembly, pull it forward, wiggle it free from the fender. You wanna grab this connector right here, push in on this tab, wiggle that free from the lamp. Take your harness, line it up with the connector, press it on until you hear it click. Let's go ahead and insert our pin into our fender. We're gonna line up our tabs on the front of the lamp with a notch in the body here. Line up our clip, snap that in. Let's go ahead and reinstall our bolt on the top section here. Go ahead and snug this down. And once that screw bottom's out, just give it about another quarter turn and you're good. Now you wanna go ahead and put your headlights on. You wanna check the height of the pattern or the direction of that bulb. You wanna go ahead and adjust this Phillips head screw in or out to go ahead and get your lights leveled out to where they should be. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're gonna see where your low beam is and you'll see a little dot right in the center. And that is the access point, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just gonna pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm gonna put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're gonna start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're gonna go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're gonna cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're gonna see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're gonna adjust the headlight beam. Now we're gonna lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is gonna be the same. You're gonna find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.